This video is going to talk about the licensing process for a VM series firewall from Palo Alto Networks. First thing I would suggest you do is start with a product comparison page to look at the threat prevention or VPN uh, throughput values that are going to be most appropriate for your use case. And then look up to the top to see how many CPUs and the amount of memory you're going to need, primarily CPUs. So let's say for this example, I need six gigs of threat throughput. That means I need eight virtual CPUs. Next, go to the support portal. Under assets, you'll see this section for software NGFW credits, and you can create a deployment profile. Select Pano S1004 and above, give it a name, and then specify the number of firewalls. Let's say I have two for HA, and then I can come in here and put in the number of uh, virtual CPUs I need, let's say eight, and then I wanna pick a use case like Internet Security Basic, and then you'll see that that toggles on certain subscriptions. If you need to add an additional subscription, you can do so. And then if you don't need any VM panorama for management, you can go ahead and do so there. And if you're just wanting to see what the estimated consumption would be, you can always click on this link here, or there's one right actually underneath this, this pop-up window. Uh, but once you're ready, create the deployment profile. What this will do is create an auth code over here on the right. You can see it's got that profile name. You copy that auth code and then come down here to the VM series auth codes and you add that VM series auth code here. And essentially that's all you need uh, for the software credits to begin the licensing process. Once you put the auth code in here, you agree and submit. You supply some information about where this firewall is going to be deployed. And then you can uh, see the option over here on the right once it is in the table to register VM. And that's where it'll require the CPU ID the UUID of the VM once it is online and running, and you can find those on the dashboard. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.